you know, a really important part of the Freedom Dividend Program is the ability to protect your Freedom Dividend. Um, and there are a variety of, of mechanisms for this. Kind of the one that I came up with that I think is just like, and this is optional, not everybody needs to do this. Like when, when you opt in, you can decide how you're going to get your Freedom Dividend money. You can have it deposited directly into a personal check savings account. You can get a physical check or you can have it. Uh, I want to form a, a third type of personal bank account. Uh, we can call it the freedom account. That's, the name is not really important, but it's incredibly restricted. There's only one way for money to go into the account, and that is through the freedom dividend program. There are only two ways to get money out of the account. You either transfer it from that account into another account that you personally have with that same bank, or you withdraw it as cash. And that's it. So no creditors can go after you. Oh, okay. No okay. like loans. Like Nobody else can take this money from you. It is your money. Um, nobody, nobody can, can take it from you. So if, if the hospital, if creditors are coming after you for hospital bills or whatever, they can't go into that account and take that money. That is your money. And like, if, if you are in a position where like, you can't even put it into a checking account, then you can just withdraw it as cash mm -hmm. and you can just pay for things with cash. Um, and like, that's protected. They can't take that from you. They can't steal your cash from you. Um, and so. And so like, this is an option for people who are in those situations. It's also really powerful for survivors of domestic abuse uh, to be able to have that money split off, knowing that they'll be able to have it and that their abuser won't be able to take it, or at least it'll be a lot harder for their abuser to take that money from them. Um, and so it will be, it'll be really easy. And if you, it'll actually be really easy to switch to the Freedom Account. To switch off of the Freedom Account will be really hard um, intentionally, like, because we, we you don't want, survivors of domestic abuse to have their, you know, the person abusing them say, well, switch off of the freedom account and have the money go into our, our quote unquote joint account or whatever. It's like, that's a really hard thing to do. It's a process. It's going to take months and months and months. Like that's, it should be really hard to get off of it in order to protect those people. Um, and so like if you're out of it and you're in a better place and you don't have creditors coming after you, you just want to get off of it. You'll still be able to do it, uh, but but that will be intentional. It's like once you're once you've chosen to go into that kind of more lockdown freedom account, the the point is it the point is that it is very locked down in order to help protect your your freedom dividend because it needs to be for you. It's for you. It's your freedom dividend and nobody else's. 